Today we are to study about algebra. The chapter is algebraic expressions. It is a combination of constants and variables, and they are they are joined by uh, signs like plus, minus, multiplication, or division. Now, what is variable? Variable is the is a alphabet which can take different values, so it is called variable. And constant is uh, constant value which cannot change. For example, three, four, root two, root three, they are fixed, so they are called as constants. And x, y, z alphabets we change their values, so they are called variables. Here the terms are six x, nine x square, and five. Out of here, six, nine, five are supposed to be constants, and x and x square are variable because for x we can uh, choose any value. Here. This 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 is a trinomial because there are three terms, and this is quadratic because the highest power is two, and these three terms are joined with minus and plus. So this totally is called a algebraic expression. And now for addition and subtraction, we are allowed to add only the similar terms. Similar means two a and three b. You cannot add because the the on uh, the Variable part is different, so uh, for addition 2a we have to add only in 4a or 6a where the alphabetical part is same and the uh, part which is changing is only the constants. Similarly for the subtraction, similarly 3a minus 8b we cannot do 3a minus 8a, 3a minus 7a, etc. We can do. In uh, when we go, we go for uh, Multiplication of algebraic expressions, we have to uh, use the indices rules. For example, a square into a cube. A square into a cube is a raised to five, where the indices rule is a raised to m into a raised to n is a raised to m plus n, like that. And for division also, we have to apply same thing. A raised to four divided by a square is again a raised to four minus two is again a square. Then, for the addition of algebraic expression, there are two algebraic expressions. One is 2a plus 3b minus 5c, and second is 4a plus 8c minus 7b. These are to be added. For example, 2a and 4a are only the similar terms out of the six because their alphabetical part is same. So 2 plus 4 will be six as a sum of sum of their coefficients. So 2 plus 4 is 6, and a will remain as same. So the total will be 6a. Similarly, 3b plus 3b minus 7b. Here b is taken afterwards. C is first, but but in such cases the sequence is immaterial. So 3b minus 7b. So 3 minus 7 is minus 4. So minus 4b will be the effect, final effect. And the last is minus 5c and plus 8c. So 8 minus 5 is 3, and c will be as it is. So 3 plus 3 six terms. Six terms are after adding. They are the answer is having three terms. Where a, b, c are uh, variables, six, four, three are constants. Then the most important uh, part of this algebraic expression is making factors of the given polynomial expressions. So th these are divided in seven different parts. Seven different parts. Uh, part one is taking the common factors from the all the terms. For example, what do you mean? What do you mean by term? 3x minus 4y is a polynomial. Is a polynomial, or you can say it is an algebraic expression where 3x is a different term, 4y is a different term, which is uh, which is linked or connected by minus sign. So, for example, uh, 2x minus 3. Here we uh, we are not able to find the factors. Because 2x is different, 3 is different, so the, the so there are no factors. But when 4x minus 2x, here you can take 2x common in both the sense. So 2x is can be taken out of the bracket. In the bracket, it is 2x minus 2 etc. X square minus 2x cube minus plus 4x square is the given polynomial. Here, x raised to 5 means x 5 times. Here, x 3 times. Here x two times, so minimum index is to be taken as a common factor. So the uh, um, logical idea of taking factor outside is about alphabet is the minimum 
index. So x square is coming out and after that each uh, term is to be divided by x square to get the term inside the bracket. So x raised to 5 divided by x square is as per the indices rule is 5 minus 2 is 3. So x, x, x cube will be coming inside. Then here minus sign, sign will continue as it is. Then 2 will be continue as it is. And again x cube divided by x square is again x. So 2x and 4x square out of 4x square, x square is coming out. So the remaining 4 will be like that. So th th this, this idea is coming as a common pattern taking from all the terms. If there is, for example, if this exam is this uh, uh, expression is added as plus 5, so then plus 5, the, the fourth term will be plus 5, for example. Here we cannot take anything outside because there is no common pattern. So sometimes you, you may get a, such, such an example where the given expression as it is is a factor. There are, there are no there are no factor after that. Second thing is uh, grouping of the terms. There are four terms: ax, by, bx, ay. All are added. Here we have to choose some number of terms where you will get some common pattern. For example, ax plus by, if you take like this, first two terms, there is no common anything. So ax plus bx means x is common. So I have taken this and this as a pair and I have taken x common outside, a plus b is same and then by and ay are again second pair where y is common. A, uh, again the bracket is same. So a plus b is taken as a common bracket and the remaining part is added in the second bracket so which is x plus y. So a plus b into x plus y are the two brackets and you, you can see that 2 plus 2 terms are there and 2 into 2 are 4 terms you will, you will get as a product you will get 4 terms. Then third is the difference of two squares for example x square minus y square the factors are x plus y into x minus y. 4x four, four square minus 9y square again the factors are 2x plus 3y, 2x minus 3y. These are the two brackets. When they multiply, we get the original algebraic uh, expression. 4p square minus 2 square. The Both the terms must be complete square. And the sign in, in the middle must be minus. Because if this is a plus, we cannot get factors. So 4p square is a square of 2p. And q square is a square of q. So in first bracket, you will get the addition of the square roots. And second bracket, you will get the subtraction of the square roots. And afterwards, when you multiply actually, you will get the such terms where the middle terms are getting cancelled and only we will get the square terms. Then after that, sum of the cubes or difference of the cubes. A cube plus B cube are the factors. First factor is A plus B. Second factor is A square minus AB plus B square. You, you, you have to remember it. You have to uh, arrange some trick for remembering. So, a cube minus b cube is again is equal to a minus b into second bracket a square plus ab plus b square. Sum of cubes, 16 a cube plus 54 b cube. Here, 16 a cube and 54 b cube. You will surprise if you see that 16 and 54 both are not cubes. So you make you, you, you may get confused, but here first principle of common patterns here 16 and 54 is having two common. So if, when you will take two, two outside, you will get 8 a cube and 27 b cube where now the, you are 8 and 27 which are both cubes. So the, you, you can apply the formula of a cube plus b cube where uh, the 2a is the cube root of 8a cube. Uh, 3b is the um, cube root of 27b cube. So in the first, first bracket, you always get the sum of their cube roots. And the second bracket is, is uh, derived by first bracket, where first term is square of the first term. Last term is square of the second term. And the middle term is just we have to uh, multiply them and put the opposite sign. So it is 6ab, you have to put it minus 6ab. So this is the idea where the difference of cubes, the formula is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square. For example, here the sign is reverse, here also it is reverse. So you have to remember that when a cube minus b cube is just in the first bracket, the sign continues and then in the second bracket, the sign is reversed.
सो दिस इज द आइडिया बेसिक आइडिया ट्राइनोमियल फैक्टर्स आर ए एक्स स्क्वे प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज कॉल्ड ए ट्राइनोमियल बिकॉज देर आर थ्री टर्म्स एंड विच इज क्वाड्रेटिक विच इज कॉल्ड क्वाड्रेटिक बिकॉज द हाइएस्ट पॉवर ऑफ द अल्जिब्र एक्सप्रेशन इज टू विच इज क्वाड्रेटिक सो ए एक्स स्क्वे प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी वे आर ए इज वन इज इज अगेन ए वन टाइप वन टाइप वेन ए इज नॉट वन इज ए सेकेंड टाइप Uh, ax square plus bx plus c is a trinomial and quadratic same as the algebraic expression we have taken above it is a b c are constants x is variable here the uh, this type of uh, quadratic trinomial is split into two parts where a is one or a is not one so first we'll see where a is one for example the problem is a square plus 7a plus 12 and we have to find the factors of that the idea is that constant term is 12 which is to be split into two constant terms whose sum is 7 so we so we have to give the trials for example 12 is equal to 12 into 1 but the sum is 13 so 12 into 1 is is not matching with the proper 6 into 2 12 6 2 8 <laughs> so again it is not matching 4 into 3 3 is 12 and 4 in plus 3 is 7 so The four and three is our expected pair. So a plus four and a plus three are the factors. Where four and three, four into three is twelve. Four plus three is seven. So when a is one, the factors are very easy, as such. But now second case is where a is not one. It is three x square minus fourteen x plus eight. For example, it is now we have to multiply eight and three. This three and into eight is twenty four. And now twenty four is is to be split into two numbers such that the sum is minus fourteen. So for example twenty four this there are so many pairs. For example eight into three, but eight into three means agar uh, e, e, even though you you take both the positive you will get sum eleven. If you get both the negatives you will get sum minus eleven. So it will not match. So minus twelve and minus two are the Proper factors of twenty four, which get the sum as minus fourteen. Here, you cannot write minus twelve and minus two in the direct bracket because the there is a constant term which is a coefficient of x square. So this minus fourteen x we split up as minus twelve and minus two as per the factors board. And then afterwards, the three x square minus four twelve x we take um, our the first principle again the common. Out of three and twelve, three is common. Then x square and x x is common. Then three x will be coming out of the bracket. Inside the bracket is x minus four. And this, uh, similarly, minus two x and eight. So two is common. And here minus sign either here plus sign. So we will take minus two as common. So that the x minus four x minus four both the brackets will match. And as the bra bracket is same with the common bracket, we will take in the first bracket. And the uh, remaining re remaining uh, remaining polynomials from the each is will will take together. Three x minus two will come in the second bracket. So this is the idea of x square plus b x plus c, where a is one and b is one is is not one. Reducible to quadratic. So the actual given example will not be a quadratic, but it will be having a some different form. By substituting some bracket as a new alphabet, it will be uh, it will be turned into a quadratic. And as per our quadratic expression factors, we will solve it. And after that, we will again re-substitute it for the alphabet and etc. We will complete the problem. Reducible to quadratic. Here, y square plus phi y are in the first bracket. Y square plus phi y minus two in the second bracket. And outside the bracket, minus twenty four. As such, it is not a quadratic because you see y square into y square will be y raised to four, which is a fourth order uh, polynomial, which is not a quadratic. But if you see it, observe it properly, y square plus phi y, y square plus phi y. This part is common in both the bracket. So, for example, if you y square plus phi y totally is replaced by a new alphabet, which is uh, of course uh, the alphabet must be other than y because y is already there. So we have to use x, z, uh, p, q, etc. Anything we have taken x here. So now by 
replacing the material by x we will take x here this x minus 2 and then minus 24 then x into x minus 2 minus 24 by expanding we get x square minus 2x minus 24 this is now reduced to quadratic so it is called as a reducible to quadratic and then after that x square minus 2x minus 4 minus 24 is to be solved similar to our ax square plus bx plus c where a is 1 so here again we have to split up minus 24 into two factors and of course when the product is minus then the factors will be one positive one negative and here we will get as minus 6 and plus 4 are the factors where multiplication is minus 24 and minus 6 and plus 4 addition will be minus 2 so minus 6 and plus 4 will come directly in the brackets and now so many students are ending here the problem actually your problem is of y and your answer is in x is not practical not possible also here x is to be resubstituted by y square plus 5y because x is your alphabet original problem is given in y alphabet so we have to substitute x by again the y square plus 5y minus 6 y square minus 5y plus 4 and how these both the brackets are again trinomial quadratic so if possible then these are again to be treated as quadratic polynomials and if possible you have to factorize them also sometimes it is possible sometimes it may not be possible so this is the idea of reducible to be quadratic and the last is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is a uh, typical type of uh, expression the factors are a plus b plus c in one bracket and a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca in the second bracket and then the last is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc where the factors are a plus b plus c in the second bracket it is a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus c actually this seems to be very simple but this is a very interesting thing when a plus b plus c are zero then ultimately this is zero then the second bracket even though it can be any value by when it gets multiplied by zero it will be 0 then actually what happens a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is 0 indirectly it is same as a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 abc so th this is the most important uh, idea that when you get three numbers whose sum sum is 0 then the sum of their cubes is always is equal to 3 into the numbers so a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3abc. This identity can be used whenever it is required.